In this video, I am going to explain how we can configure segment routing in iOS XE and with OSPF. Actually, this video doesn't explain the concept. This video only want to show you the configuration of segment routing in iOS XE with OSPF as the IGP. Here we have a notepad file and I will give you the notepad file with this notepad file you have all configuration because of that let me to review the text in this notepad file. This is the notepad file and here we have some steps that we should configure this scenario. You know that the last goal and the goal of this scenario is to configuring segment routing with OSPF. First, we should do the step one. In step one, configure IP addresses and OSPF configuration. You know that iOS XE configuration and traditional iOS are so similar to each, each other. Actually, if you know the configuration of iOS, also you know the configuration of iOS XE. Because of that, only I'm going to review the configuration and then we will copy this configuration into the CLI of rotor 1 to rotor 5. Start from the, let me to start from the rotor 1. Enable, configure terminal and then host name is rotor 1. Here we have two interface, interface gigabit 1 and I assign IP address 10.1.2.1 to this, uh, for example, interface. Okay, and after that I enable the net point to point network type of OSPF on this interface with no shutdown. We enable the interface. Also, I configured interface loopback zero with the IP address of quad one, quad two, five, five. And this is the configuration of OSPF, rotor OSPF one, rotor ID is quad one. And also with network command, I enabled OSPF on these two interface gigabit one and loopback zero in area quad zero. This is the configuration of R1. Also, I then have this configuration uh, or similar configuration in all other rotors. Okay, you have this text file and if you want, you can use this text file. Let me to copy this configuration because here we don't have any new information related to, to the segment routing. This is the configuration of CSR1. Here, this is the copy of this configuration in the CLI. And after that, this is the configuration of the CSR2. Again, copy this configuration and paste on the CSR2. And after that, the rotor tree, this is the rotor tree's configuration. Let me to copy this configuration, paste it on the rotor tree. And the next rotor is the rotor four. This is the configuration of rotor four. And after that, here, let me to copy it on the CLI of rotor four. And finally, the rotor five. This is the configuration of the rotor five. Now I will copy this configuration to the R5 CLI. The only things that now we should ensure is that rotor one has connectivity to the, for example, loopback zero of rotor five. That's it. Let me to show you here. This is the rotor one. If you want, you can wait, for example, two or three seconds for IGP convergence. But let me to show you the routing table, show IP route can show us now we have connectivity to the quad five. Actually quad five is available in the routing table of rotor one. And what does it mean? It means that OSPF neighborship, OSPF configuration is okay on the R1, R2, R3, R4, and R5. Now we can start the configuration of segment routing. The first step to configuring segment routing is that you should enable segment routing globally. This is a mandatory step in the iOS XE, but in the iOS XR, we don't use the, this command. Actually, in iOS XR, you can configure segment routing directly on the OSP. But here, first, you should enable segment routing MPLS globally. Don't forget, if you try to configure this command on the IGP, you will receive error message message look at here configure terminal rotor uh, for example ospf1 now segment routing mpls now we have error message why as you can see please enable segment routing globally first we should enable segment routing globally with the command segment routing mpls that's it this is the segment routing over mpls as you can see now we have a prompt segment routing mpls enabled and also now we are under this mode config sr mpls all right then in the rotor 2 again here the command is segment routing mpls after that the rotor 3 again here segment routing mpls then the rotor 4 this is the rotor 4 uh, segment routing mpls and the last rotor is the rotor 5 segment routing mpls that's it this is the step 2 
In step two, we enable the segment routing globally on each of these five devices. After that, the next step is step three. Step three is that we should configure prefix SID on the rotor one and rotor five, or if you want on all rotors. For example, I want to configure prefix SID of 16001 for the quad one slash 32 in rotor one and 16005 for the quad five of the slash 32 of rotor five. I explained all of these topics in the previous video. Now here only we are trying to configure this function. Because of that, for configuring the prefix SID, first you should use this command, connected prefix SID map. Actually, I want to configure prefix SID for connected networks. Okay. On the rotor one and rotor five, I will configure this command because I want to configure prefix, prefix SID only for rotor one's look back zero and rotor five's look back zero. Here in the rotor one, I want to configure connected prefix SID map. Now we are on the new mode. R1 config SR MPLS, then COWN. And after that, in the rotor 5, connected prefix SID map. This is the next step, step 3. In step 4, we should configure real prefix SID for R1 and in step 5 for R5 loopback. You can configure such as the iOS XR, the prefix SID with index or absolute value. In rotor 1, I will configure with index. In rotor 5, I will configure with absolute value. Index 1 means the 16001, and absolute value of 16005 is obvious. In the rotor 1, after connected prefix SID map, you need to use this command, address family IPv4, then quad 1 slash 32 index 1. Look at here. In the rotor one, I want to configure first address family IPv4. So easy. Quad one slash 32, then index one. That's it. And the rotor five. Again, address family IPv4, quad five slash 32. Now here you should use the keyword absolute. And then 16,005. Don't forget, if you want, you can enable or configure prefix SID on all interfaces, on all routers for each IP address. But here I'm going to show you a simple configuration. After that, now we, uh, we have done the step four and, and also step five. In the step six, you can enable segment routing globally in the OSPF. You know that we configured prefix SID for the quad five slash 32 of rotor five, but the OSPF doesn't advertise it now. We should enable OSPF for advertising this information, for example, prefix SID, adjacency SID, because of that, you, you now you need to go to the rotor OSPF and enable segment routing MPLS. Let me to configure this command on all rotors. First, R, uh, R1 rotor OSPF1 and then segment routing MPLS. And after that, in the rotor 2, rotor OSPF1, okay, and then segment routing MPLS. The next rotor is the rotor 3, rotor OSPF1, then segment routing MPLS. And finally, rotor 4 and rotor 5, rotor OSPF1 then segment routing MPLS and the last rotor is rotor 5, rotor OSPF1, segment routing MPLS. Also, this is the step 6. Also, we have one other step. When you enable the uh, segment routing in MPL in OSPF, actually, this is globally enabled in the OSPF, okay? If you need to configure the next command, segment routing for which area? For example, I want to have segment routing for area 0, but I don't want to have segment routing for area 1. Because of that, you need to use this command, segment routing for area 0 with MPLS. Please enable this segment routing. Okay, let me to show you. In the rotor 1, the, the next command is segment routing for area quad 0 and then with MPLS. And this is the last command. And the rotor 2, again, segment routing for area quad 0 with MPLS. And then in the rotor 3, segment routing in area 0, again, MPLS. And the next rotor is segment routing area quad 0 and then MPLS. Actually, we can say uh, two command uh, should be configured on the, under the rotor OSPF. Segment routing MPLS and also segment routing area quad 0 and then MPLS. Maybe in some iOS you see that uh, the segment routing MPLS is sufficient, but in most iOS you need to use these two comments.
so easy now we have configured everything completely now you can use for example the show ip sif command for the quad 5 slash 32 in the rotor one look at here now we have the label 16005 we learned about the concept here i'm not going to explain the concepts again actually here we have the label 16005 and this is the label or the prefix sid we configured for csr5 in csr5 for loopback zero and it means that rotor one if the, if you uh, try to send traffic in rotor one to quad five it will push the label 16005 to the or the segment to the packet when the rotor 2 receive this segment show MPLS forwarding can show us that the 16005 should be swapped with again 16005 and will forward to gigabit 2 to rotor 3 uh, from rotor gigabit 2 to rotor 3 in the rotor 3 again show MPLS forwarding can show us that the 16005 should be swapped with again 16005 and forwarded from the gigabit 2 to rotor 4 and finally in the rotor 4 show mpls forwarding uh, can show us that the 16005 should be popped and the traffic finally without label can be received by the rotor 5. here you can see a or adjacency sid actually in the ios xe here we see dash a for adjacency sid also in the rotor one if you want you can use trace command trace root command to quad 5 and then numeric look at here we will see 16005 reach to rotor 2 16005 reach reach to the reach to the rotor 3 and then rotor 4 and it means that now we are using segment routing also in rotor 5 if you want you can use trace to quad 1 and then numeric here you can see that now for the quad 1 we use 16001 and it's okay also you know about the commands that we learned in iOS XR for monitoring of the segment routing capability. For example, show IP OSPF neighbor detail like the iOS XR can show us the uh, adjacency SID. For example, this is the SR adjacency label for this neighbor 16. Also, show IP OSPF database can show us that we have LSA type 10 with exact same content that we learned before. You know that this is the LSA we use for segment routing information propagation in OSPF. And after that, we have show IP OSPF 1 and then segment routing. Here you can see that in the OSPF, we enabled segment routing globally and also we enabled segment routing for area 0. And now we are using the default sRGB range or from 16,000 to 23,999. Actually, now we can configure segment routing with basic features in iOS XE when we are using OSPF as the IGP.